Hey guys, in this video we're going to learn uh, JSON in, in Python, especially with you know pandas and, and data frames. JSON stands for JavaScript Object Notation. It's a lightweight data interchange format, as you can see. It's quite easy for human to for humans to read and, and write, and it's also easy and fast for machines to pass and uh, and parse and generate. And you know the JSON file structure is key value pairs. It's same as uh, dictionaries in Python. And the elements, you know, we have the keys and then the pairs. In the pairs themselves, you can have, as, as in Python, you can have uh, other dictionaries, inside dictionaries. JSON is the same way. So you can have nested sort of uh, structures. And in Python, we can have a dictionary that looks like this. We've seen this before. But one difference here is that the uh, the quotations now are double quotes, not single quotes. This is how JSON works. JSON prefers to have um, the data to be inside the string data to be inside double quotes instead of um, instead of um, uh, single quotes. And what we do here is we define our raw data as a JSON object inside a string. So it's a string that contains that dictionary we saw before but with double quotes instead of single quotes around the strings so right the the um, dictionary uh, with double quotes inside the string what we do here is we import uh, the json library as you can see here import json and we've seen import pandas as pd before but now if we want to import one module only we can say from pandas import data frame and that should be enough so if we run that we should be successful run this to create the raw data and then now from inside the JSON, we we use the load s, the load string. Basically, it it will load a JSON object from a string. We pass it the raw data that we declared here, and the JSON object will be saved in the data. So if we run that, and then display data, it will be a JSON object or the dictionary, the dictionary that we spoke about before. The structure is the same. If we do shift tab here and have a look at the doc string. You can see that uh, JSON, JavaScript object notation, is a subset of JavaScript syntax uh, used as lightweight data interchange format. We've seen that before. But what we're interested in now is the load s uh, function, shift tab, maximize that, and we can see it deserializes basically s, which is a string instance containing. A JSON document as we saw before. Sometimes you call it JSON document, sometimes you call it JSON object. We mean the same thing. Right? You can read more about the documentation. It's quite easy to use. So we've seen that. We've seen how to load it. And um, the, the way to access elements is inside the JSON object is exactly the same as dictionary. So we can say square brackets, for example, give me the city data and it'll give me all of these entries. And I can say Give me the first element inside the city data, for example, and then give me Tripoli. Or maybe give me the first element in score 2. Let's say the, th the fourth element, element 3 of score 4. One, 0, 1, 2, 3 is giving me 70, which is correct. So that's how we can create a JSON object uh, from a string that contains uh, a JSON. Uh, 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 data, data structure or JSON object as we saw here. Now, another interesting thing is that if we want, so this is a, this is um, we've loaded the, the the data now. If we wanted to get it back into JSON, I can say JSON dot dump s and pass it data, right? And it go back to the same format as here. Um, another issue is that we can actually create a data frame. Out of the JSON object, so I can say uh, I can say df equals data frame, and if I pass it the JSON object that we read here, data, then we should be able to create a data frame out of that JSON object, right? Quite easy to use, and then we can specify the column names and you know play about with the indices and do all kinds of things that we learned before and things that we were going to learn in the coming videos, right? So it's quite easy to manipulate JSON. Uh, quite easy to, you know, get the JSON and then uh, dump it back to the ori its original format or to 
create a data frame out of JSON and so on and so forth. What we're going to do in the next video is try and read JSON from a JSON file, manipulate the data, and then save it back to another JSON file. Let's stop here and continue in the next video.